Hi, my name is Matthew Gerber with Tri-State Permacolon. We're a licensed precaster and distributor of the Permacolon family of products. And today we're on a job site in Craigville, Indiana. And we're gonna show you some tips and tricks. And ultimately our goal is to show you a better way to build while building your business. So let's talk a little bit more about the trench and the styrofoam and how kind of all that works. So we've got, a, we've got for energy code, we need to have two inch styrofoam that's 24 inches deep around the perimeter. Well, in post frame, that's, that's kind, of, kind of tricky, right? So again, we're, we talked about the trench that we put around the entire outside, but let's just show a little bit about the, the measurements of that trench. So it's gonna be probably a 10 inch trench and, and two of those inches are gonna be eaten up by your styrofoam. The other eight, eight inches, what we recommend is that you fill that with concrete. What that does is it does two things. It gives you a backing against your styrofoam, but then it also gives you this nice grade beam, concrete grade beam around the entire outside of your slab. Because in post frame, most slabs, if you pour the concrete, are floating. So what this does is it doesn't give you a footer because you don't need a footer. Your, your perma column, your permanent foundation is your foundation for your building. But what this does is this gives you the, the necessary thickness to the edge of your slab to help prevent it from floating in addition to the frost protection that your code may require. It works really slick whenever you're trying to do an insulated gray beam that might be required per code in your state. All right, so I want to get you a, a, a good close-up picture of, of how this maybe looks once the concrete's poured. And to give you an idea of what an insulated gray beam actually is on the finished side. So again, we have a two inch styrofoam that's 24 inches deep that's set just outside edge of the trench. Again, a 10 inch trench that leaves about eight inches of concrete fill. And so we have our holes that are drilled four feet down and you're just simply gonna backfill around the bottom two feet of it to bring it up to the bottom level of your trench so that then you can pour your concrete from straight through your trench on top of your post holes up to your finished floor mark. And you can see then here, this, this concrete was poured yesterday. It's, it's, it's filling the trench comes around the out, you know, where you had your where you had your hole for your column. It fills that fills that space as well as your backfill, and then you see the the rebar sticking up, which adds a nice connection between your grade beam, kind of like a, a mini footer, and your slab to help kind of hold things together. At Tri-State Permacom, our mission is to show you a better way to build while you're building your business.